Have you ever experienced a situation that you thought you were knowledgeable across many different areas, but you were assigned to a new project that you did not have much experience with? I have quite a few times. The question then becomes, what should you do in such a situation? Either dive into the literature to learn what others have been doing or getting quickly familiar with the goal of the project and to think what you should do based on the knowledge you already have. My answer is the latter, and that is what I have been doing in my career. If you are like me by choosing the later answer, I would say that we are the same type of people who enjoy thinking outside of the box to begin with a new project. Our different perspectives are very likely going to help us coming up with a different and better solution. From this aspect, I would say that without much experience to start with a project could be advantage. Today, I'm going to share a short story of mine to demonstrate how I took this advantage to the success of a project. In integrated circuit chip or IC chip manufacturing, photolithography is an essential technology for helping create nanoscale transistors and circuits. The material used in the lithography for creating desired features is called photoresist. When I joined the lithography team, photolithography technology was evolving from dry lithography to emergent lithography to increase lithography resolution or to enable the lithography tool to image smaller features. Because of the direct water contact to the photoresist surface, photoresist component can be leached into the emergent water. This has caused the industry-wide concerns since the leached photoresist components can deposit onto the projection lens, which causes a irreversible contamination to the very expensive component of the tool. On the other hand, losing the photoresist component from the leaching, the photoresist will not work properly. Top coat was proposed by the industry as a leaching barrier, which is coated onto the photoresist surface in a separate step uh, before the lithography process. This top coat required additional material, which caused the increased manufacturing cost and required additional time to for processing it, and therefore caused a reduced production or throughput of the chip manufacturing. As a scientist newly assigned to the top coat team, I had a decision to make. I could either follow the industry roadmap by developing a top coat product or thinking about a better approach about em eliminating the use of the top coat. I chose both. With the top coat as my official project and uh, inventing a better approach as my un unofficial project. For the later, I came up with a bold idea of developing a special material as an additive for a photoresist formulation. As a pump spin coating of the photoresist formulation, the special material can come to the surface to form a leaching barrier. A photoresist comes with its own leaching barrier. We later call this technology embedded barrier layer or EBL for short. This EBL technology was beyond the conventional wisdom of the semiconductor industry, since people's skill in the lithography and the photoresist were reluctant to add an actual material to an established formulation. In their experiences, if a relevant material is added to a photoresist formulation, it, it could cause a detrimental effect. Their concerns and the skepticism, however, helped me in designing the EBL material by making them with some sim similarity to the photoresist material and, uh, and therefore making them with a good compatibility to the photoresist formulation. Very soon, our EBL technology caught the industry attention. To the lithography tool manufacturers, it allows the tool to operate at its maximum scan speed and therefore promotes an increased throughput. To the chip manufacturers, it saves them material cost and bring them a higher throughput. To us, the material vendor, it helps us to make our product unique and attractive to the industry. 
and, and advantageous from a competitive respect. Nowadays, our EBL technology is the industry mainstream. It has been helping the industry with a higher yield, better devices, and a, and a yet lower manufacturer cost. Next time when you enjoy uh, your brand new electronic uh, devices with a affordable low price, please, please think about our EBL technology. To my former team at this moment, I would like to say thank you for working with me to bring the EBL technology to a new level. To my fellow young scientists without much experience in the project they were assigned, and to anyone new to a project, be brief and bold. When you are thinking outside of the box, your potential is unlimited and your creativity soars. You know who you are, go for it. Thank you. <laughs>